what to do with garlic scapes, collard greens, and mushrooms. How about a one-pan stovetop frittata? So I started off with some onion. That's gonna go in the pan first, but I'm also gonna add some funky garlic scapes. So much fun to use these guys at the beginning of the season. Fresh, mild garlic, but in this frittata, they're gonna cook up and stay a bit crunchy. So they'll have the texture of asparagus or green bean. It's gonna be really nice with the eggs. All right, let's get this frittata started. Healthy dollop of butter. Already sizzling. The garlic, the onion. Oh, that is one of my favorite smells in the whole world. I picked these up at the market today. Mushrooms are excellent in frittata. Now for a little green. I picked up some collard greens today at the market. They have a flavor similar to that of cabbage or kale or Brussels sprouts as they are part of the brassica family. And I'm just removing their woody stems. And that's one of the reasons why I love going to the farmer's market. It really challenges me to use some interesting and different ingredients that I wouldn't always pick up otherwise. When you roll them up together, it makes for easy cutting. Nice long strands. Get these mushrooms in the pan. Ooh, yeah. The onions have that golden color. The skates have darkened. I'm just gonna let these mushrooms soften up a little bit, get brown around the edges, and then I'll go in with the collard greens. These mushrooms are golden. So really great thing about working with eggs is that you can really infuse the flavors. So a little fresh thyme is gonna go a long way. I mean, I'm cooking outside in the middle of summer. I'm gonna use some fresh herbs. That'll do. In with the collards. And another ingredient is essential to a frittata, the eggs. A quarter cup of heavy cream with six eggs, that'll do the trick. If you wanna get fluffy, light eggs, it's all about whipping. When you think you're done whipping, Keep going, it's not enough. All right, I think that is enough. All these vegetables cooked down. And this is the easy part. I'm just gonna mix this around, make sure I get a little bit of everything in each bite. Oh yes. Some browning around the edge. Still a little soft in the middle. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, frittata is awesome. Success. Look at those fluffy eggs. And cooking with fresh veggies, that is something special. A couple of sprouts, and I have this for later, but I thought a little piece with frittata would be nice. That'll do me just fine. 
This is pretty exciting. Furtado works really well outdoors. It's kind of a rustic vibe, an easier version of an omelet. No fuss, no muss. Mm. There are a lot of robust flavors in there. The mushrooms with the, with the collard greens and the scapes. The thyme, too. It's quite earthy. All those textures, light fluffiness of the egg, mm -hmm. divine. I am a sucker for fresh bread. I am telling you, cooking with fresh veggies makes all the difference in the world.